Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind right back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift that you you um truly can appreciate <laughs> or uplift you in that way please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share we greatly appreciate it so um with that being said the video that i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey oka's gratitude of uh past and present circumstances shows the light of clarity and it's true you know you're going um you have a lot of times it's hard for us to be grateful for the past especially if you're going through something and it's just so painful it's just so hurtful or whatever and they're telling you you know um and as well as the present especially if you feel like your life is just going through hell <laughs> you know it's just like going through you know and you just really trying to understand why how am i going to be grateful for that how am i going to be uh you know feeling good about that and it's just like there's so many things even through the darkest storms you find so many so many powerful things that's going on into your life that um that you can really be inspired by and it is just like um say everybody and their mom just drop out out of your life you understand you know especially when it comes to that spiritual awakening i noticed that a lot of people tell me that i went through it and it's just like you know it's just like oh i had all these many friends and it just seemed like as soon as i went through a spiritual awakening i lost so many people you know that was it you know that you know i have anybody that i could turn to and it's just like you know it can be very hurtful for that especially if it, you know it could be family um it could be you know your marriage is falling apart whatever you know baby mom baby dad whatever and um it, it could be like, well, it's, it's showing you those people already used that experience with you. They only had access to you at that certain time. Now, since you opened that, that you're basically you came out of spiritual womb. You know, you came out of that and you, you had to be able to look at life all differently. And these are the different things that's taking place with you um, to be able to give you a deeper understanding about that. And so when you're doing that, you're creating that that new pathway of where you you know you truly need to be grateful for it. and then when you're doing that it's just like okay being grateful for these circumstances that are taking place into my life it, it really gives me that it, it gives me a light to understand myself you know a lot of times you know um universal put you in dark circumstances you know i know um i know trent shelton's been talking a lot about that lately i love trent shelton he you know he was one of the ones him uh ralph smart you know uh till swan and there were like many people as like my spiritual mentors that i really listened to victor otto adam uh not adam uh aaron dodry you know um it, when i first got started i listened to a lot of their videos and they really were eye openers to me and um i'm even congratulating dag on um till swan i think she's on hulu now i'm like girl you don't went up i was like what the hell I thought it was like she got something going on on hulu i'm like girl you don't really got up there and i ain't even mad at you but you i mean you you gone through so many di different things there's so many different things that they talked about in their life and as well you know um and you have to be grateful for those things you know um a lot of times you don't find out who your true friends are and the people that truly love you until you go through dark moments in your life you know everybody and mom, their mama can be in your life when things are going good you know you, you in the limelight you got good things going on you go do, do all these different things and next thing you know you down and out you fall out you know you lose your job you lose your family all these different things and all of a sudden all these people that claim that they're friends they love you all this and this and that all of a sudden they're gone <laughs> you know you in a room by yourself it's like alone in a room <laughs> you know you're like really trying to understand it's just me and you you make me think you all lost you make me think about that song with dad on yolanda Adams. i was just thinking she was talking about god you're like lord i'm all in the room by myself but you go you go through all these different things into your life and it's just like how can i be grateful for that you know I've, I've been hurt i've been used you know i've been just discarded like i was trash you know people use me as being disposable being an option and it's just like 
the way you can be grateful for that is be, being able to show you that God took people out of your life. Like there could be, and it, it, it can even be a genuine thing. It's just like you, you, you know what that person had an expiration out of there. It wasn't nothing bad. It's just that y'all went through y'all process. Now it's time to part ways and move on, and just allow yourself to really, you know, uh, really move on into your life. You know, y'all had that experience, but there's a lot of times we're trying to understand universe guides people into your life and then they branch off and then you have to understand they only supposed to have a certain access to you a certain vibration when you move past that vibration a lot of people don't want to move that vibration yet some do some don't you know some are kind of lagging or whatever and you you have to be that at that point where be grateful but you keep moving you know like hey you know like stop 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 you know people that really are genuine to you when they see that you got something going on they're not going to try to stop you and say hey I'm going to meet you there you know, you keep going. I want you to keep going. I want you to keep thriving. And then you're going to be grateful for those type of people as well. You know, and th these are the different things that bring you clarity. You know, your past, is, is, you know, your past creates the present. And, you know, what you, the choices you make in your present creates a future for you. You don't know how your future, what your future holds. You know, universe will give you little snippets. But they don't tell you how you're going to get there or how it's going to unfold, or how it's going to happen. They just show you this is how your life could be. Before your life to be that way because you know there's a lot of times where you know um, my gift of being a medium and psychic and stuff like that you know different things God will allow me to be able to pass on to other people that I mentor or do one on one or you know hook up with on that, that spiritual level and be seeing things and next thing you know uh, they chose to take another path and they're like well you told me this and this and this and that you ain't too psyched I was like did you do exactly to the T what I told you to do what universe told me to tell you to do it was like well no I wasn't I'm like okay then so you can't get mad at somebody if somebody told you a direction and you wanted to improvise so you can go through all that you know and be and then a lot of times when we take those type of vibrations and we we head in a direction and a lot of times, universe already know we going to, you know, we, we going to ad lib. <laughs> you going to ad lib or you going to freestyle and you going to cut a different way. And then it'll be like you learn a lesson. Next, you know, you fall short. You do different things like that. And and it's like, be grateful for that because that, that taught you a lesson. When God tell you be obedient, you be obedient. You know, when he tell you not to mess with that person, don't mess with that person. He tell you to back up. And take a pause for that cause. Take a pause for that cause. You know, because a lot you notice. I notice a lot of times when I reflect, I heal, I purge, I cut away, cutting ties. Because this is just like when I'm seeing this, it was like a, a oracle card that came up, and it's telling me you have to be very uh, aggressive uh, about your circle, your frequency, the the people that you come attached to. There's a lot of things like when it's shifting. If, if you like say if you're that person that always got to check up on somebody no somebody don't never check up on you cut that tie every time you bring up something that's out of the norm like out of the box and people shut you down or people shun you or people you know down talk you or like they always trying to change the subject like they over talk you cut ties you know if there's always somebody that you know they always got to come back and 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 parade something in front of you and rub it in your face cut ties you know, and those are the different things. They're telling you be grateful for that. You needed that. Because it's just like a lot of times God will set a bait for those people in your lives. And you'll start seeing, you know, it's like snakes coming up. And you know, they're cutting heads off snakes. And that's how they're doing that. They will, they will intentionally set baits in your life. They want you to really truly see the people that are there for you. They really want you to truly see the people that are not there for you. And you have to be grateful for that. And they're telling you how to be grateful for that. These people use me. You know, finesse the heck out of me and played me. You know, and led me astray. And you know, and it's just like different things like that. And it's just like you had to be able to know, you know, where we're going. There's a lot of people you try to take on that path with you. And they're not, if they're not going to be there, trust me, in some kind of way. You know, and it's just even when you're trying to figure out if somebody's really your friend. Or somebody's really, you know, a person you on date. They always tell you, just wait. It'll eventually come out if that person is there or not. Just be patient. You know, a lot of times I don't like that word. I say, man, you, that's a touchy word. That's a fighting word. And then, you know, I was like, all that patient stuff I ain't got time for. You know, and those are the different things they're telling you. Be grateful for it because it's just in your past. You know, I was that type of person. Like I said before, I was a people pleaser. You know, I would see things that I know good and well 
Why are you entertaining that? Why are you allowing yourself to still deal with stuff like that? That is crazy. That is stupid. Why are you still doing that? And I would be very shameful. Like, you know, I'll tell people I was in a toxic relationship for almost like 20 some years. It's been like six years since I ain't been in that, but I'm still healing and learning from it and trying to detach from it quickly. You know, and it was it, it was like, but then it got to that point. You know, I used to get aggravated. I'm like, God, why are you still got me attached to certain people that, you know, that I'm really like seriously ready to part ways with? You know, it got to that point where I was hateful. It was No, I was hurtful. Then I was hateful and I was angry and I was very vile. Like I was, you know, ready to catch a charge. Like, okay, I'll be, you give me that one. I'm that type of one that's smiling. In the mugshot, I'm like, take this side. You know, it's my good side. <laughs> you know, like, take this side. And everyone's you, you know, talking to cops. I'm like, look, I don't want to tell. Look, this is my good side on my mugshot. And they're looking at me like, well, I was like, if you don't go sit down somewhere, you ain't going to jail, but go sit down. You know, they used to laugh at me. You know, like, well, I'm being serious. Shoot, I'm going to be proud of catching that charge. You know, but then it's just like, I had to really allow myself to stay and stop putting so much energy in people that is, it, all they are is giving you dirty energy. I have to be grateful for that. Be grateful for that. Allow yourself to stop taking it personal. Personal. When people want to constantly throw, you know, throw shade at you, say these little hateful names. You ain't this. You ain't that. And I would be like, if I make sure, I got to be thinking consciously. If I sit up here and call somebody out their name like that, then I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm representing it at the same time too, because they always tell you, you you sit up here saying that, you say it about yourself. Like, hey, I'll be that. <laughs> I'll be that. You know, but then I had to be able to allow myself stop judging people. Stop, you know, looking down at people that don't want to heal. You know, you can't judge somebody because they don't want to heal. You can't do that. Because like I tell people, and I've said that many times in my videos, there'll be different times that people would tell me clear, clear as day where I had to let go of what I needed to heal from. And I did not want to listen. And it was so hard for me to break away from that. And I get it was just like, and now it took me to a minute to understand that was a soul tie. That mess, you know, it had hooks, like tentacles, you know, something nasty, you know. And now it's just like I can look at it and I, I have to show gratitude for it. Because it showed me where I had to take my power back from. Learn those lessons, appreciate those lessons. And it reminded me. Of the movie A Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Anybody ever seen that movie? That movie was hilarious. Because I was loving how I, I really can relate to what she went through with her husband. Stuff. <laughs> I ain't get kicked out of my house. I'm like, shoot, that big ass house. I'm going to be like, my dear, who house? They kicked you out of that house. Oh, he would have got half of that house. But he ain't about to get that whole one. That house is huge. And I would have been like, that. no, I ain't about to go nowhere. You know. And he did her dirty. Next thing you know, he got he got plugged. You know, he caught a fade up in the in the court system. Next thing you know, got popped a couple of times. The girl he done left her for and dumped her for, uh, popped out and had a baby on her. And then the next thing you know, the girl that he dogged her out for ended up taking all his money and left him there. You know, and next thing you know. She was the one taking care of him. What she want? <laughs> she wasn't taking care of him because he was up there stinking. He was like, "Oh, I'm hungry." And she was beating a mess out of that man. And then Medea was just sitting up here, and I'm, I mean, I, Lord forgive me for like, <laughs> but I, I probably would have did the same thing too, especially with my situation. I probably would have tore his ass up. But you know, excuse me, French. But I was like, "Oh, I, I can." I'm like, "Man, let me just have a chance," you know. But then it was just like, uh. How such and such do it? Oh, she probably, I said, shoot, is he still living? That's the question. Because she's like, you know, she's still mad at him. And if she's still mad, you know, she's still hurting. Because she took him all through that stuff. She would give him every pain, painful situation he would give her. She was adding it to him because she had that chance to do it. Had that access. And it's sad, you know. Because it's just, I've been in situations where, I, I, you know, it was really down and out for me. And it's just like, instead of picking me up, you added more weight on me to make me go further down. So, I can get why she did that. But, I can understand from a part of me healing, you don't give somebody the energy they give back to you. The way you get your blessings is treating people. Don't treat people how they treat you. A lot of times, you got to leave people's lives in a different way than how you, you got in, they got put into your life. You know, even if they choose to not do it, you still that verb or some um, some kind of vibe to really help heal somebody. You know, 
And it's just like you, even if they choose not to, you don't left a mark. And that's where you show gratitude too, because a lot of times it's like. But then when it got to that point where she finally healed, she got a man into her life. They really, you know, spoke goodness into her ear, spoke love into her ear, kindness, and that's something that she didn't receive from her husband. You know, and next thing you know, he finally seen her for who she was. But then when it got to that point where he done done her so dirty, he dogged her out so bad, she didn't want him anymore. But she con she left him in a peaceful way. And all he could do, and when he left, and I mean, that gave a tear to my eye. I was like, girl, you good. You really good. And then it was just like, he didn't appreciate what he had. He, I mean, what he had was golden. He had one of those ones that's irreplaceable, and he did her dirty in any kind of way. And then when he finally seen who she was, who she really was. And then a lot of times, it takes somebody to dog you, and then when you are not allowing yourself to hang on and doing this, because sometimes people like that, they like that attention. But he had that narcissistic vibe. So it was like any kind of attention you were giving him was good. You could be yelling at him, calling him everything up under the sun. And that would have been okay for him because he getting that reaction out of you to know that he took that power. He's empowered by that. But when she finally left, it, I mean, when that when that shot to the back or whatever, I think that's where you got shot to the back. End up, it, it ended up giving him an eye opener. And then she stopped doing, um, she ended up healing in that way. Of going back, you know, and and helping him out. But as soon as he got well, she left him in deuces. And it was just like it, it gave me that moral story. You just because somebody did you that way, that hurt that person hurt you, but he's helping heal you at the same time. And it's just up to you if you choose to heal or not. It's up to him if you choose to heal or not. You can't force him to do that, but you can force yourself to do it. You know. And it, it was just like. When like when I say I, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, you know, of my past, you know, because it created a presence for me to be in that standstill to just be able to self assess, self evaluate, reflect, you know, make sure I'm projecting out positivity, knowing whatever my issues is, correct and assess those, assess and correct them. You know, really find out what what makes me tick. What you know, what gets up under my skin. What's triggering to me? And now it's at that point where I don't even have a trigger anymore. And a lot of people will hate you for that when they don't they don't realize. And there's a lot of times people will watch you so bad and they hate you so bad because they don't want you to change. They envy you for that because they don't want you to change. And it's just like that's the, a lot of people going through that that spiritual oppression. When you start vibing up, you start evolving, you start going through your ascension. And when you're seeing your ascension and you're appreciating all those different things into your life, you start getting gratitude. Because a lot of times we get in that moment where we hate in the world, we hate ourselves. We try to figure out we're not worth anything when people do us like that. And it's just like, you know, universe will tell you, snap out of that. You are so much powerful. You are so much loved. You are loved so much even in, in ways where you may not feel it, you're loved. Just because I, a lot of times, even we get mad at God, we, can, we cuss him all up under the storm, all up under the, uh, all up under the pool pit, and not realize that pain creates some kind of powerful love. Like you had to be hurt like that, you had to be broke down because I'm building you up in a whole different way, and you need to show me gratitude for that. And a lot of times you're looking like. I'll show you where you put that gratitude at because, uh, brother, I'm not, I'm not grateful for this. But then it's just like you got to go back, tell between your legs, go, go back in there. I want you to sit down. It's like my mom. I want you to go to that room. I want you to think about what you did. <laughs> you want to think about what I did? But I'm like, you put me through hell. You put people in my life that hurt the mess out of me. I had, I mean, I was broken, bruised, battered. I mean, I was there for people that, you know, as soon as I was down and I was in that position, they had no problem with laughing in my face. They had no problem stabbing me in my back, treating me like I was zilch, you know, nothing, you know. But then it was just like, I'm glad for that. Because a lot of times, God, God will put you in certain situations like he going to prepare you for the glow up of your life that's going to shook not shocked, but shook the mess out of you. And they wanted this, just like remind me of what Trent Shelton said. When you all you have is love and friendship to give, how valuable would that be to people? When all that's all you got to offer. 
Because God will put you in a certain situation just to expose everybody that's in your life that's either there for benefit for themselves, manipulation, using, or they use you as a punching bag and a doormat. All kind of ways have you down and out, make you feel like this is all what your life is going to be about. And make them think that too. And that's where a lot of people's problem is. People will dog the mess out of you. People will do you any kind of way. And they forget where they came from. They forget about who helped them. Because God always said you better stay humble. You, you better drape yourself with humility as well as you possibly can. Because the same people you stepped on going up there. And if you feel like you, you just uh, you know, blew your whole blessing off. He'll knock you right back down. And he'll he'll let you meet the same people you don't you you know that you stepped on to get there. You know, and that's where a lot of people problem is they feel like your life gonna stay that way. If God put you there, what makes you think God gonna keep them there? There's a reason that you got put there in the first place. He wanted you to see how vile and vicious people can be. And that's the most hurtful situation it is. Because he'll tell you where I'm sending you at. They can't go because they will mess up your blessing of a bag in a minute. These are the type of people that will leech on to you. These will be the people that will steal from you. There will be different people that will try to profit off of you and use you in some kind of way. And just and just backpedal you all the way back in a place that you ain't needing to be. So for that to happen, they're going to expose each and, you know, any and everything just to be able to show you where somebody don't need to be at. You had to be able to see that. So a lot of times, you you know, you may feel like my life ain't going to be nothing or I'm not going to grow from these different things or I'm not going to go on this next level of those things. You know, God will make you feel that way, but he's giving you insight, like saying this is not, you know, your current situation is not your final destination. Where you're at is not where you're going to stay. I got something so much bigger and better for you. You got to just be patient. You got to stay diligent. You got to stay obedient. And just trust me. And a lot of times it's hard for you to do that when your circumstances are so crazy. It's so shady. It's so rocky. You got to be around evil people. You know. You got to deal with all those different things. And it's hard to be able to do that. And you know. And you be at that type of vibration. Like this person broke me. This person did this. This person dehumanized me. This person do that. And God, you don't realize. God will put you in a front seat. They let you use, and a lot of times I'll try to understand what God said. Enemies, you can use your enemies as your stepping stone. And it's just like using your enemies as your stepping stone is that one where they're they going to help you create that power within yourself that's going to take you to that next level. And I'm like, oh, that's what that meant. You know, they're going to help you get to that next level. You don't understand your enemies. You need your enemies as much as your enemies need you. A lot of times people be doing stuff uh, to piss you off, to hurt you. You know, um, to go through things and you know to trigger you because you're triggering them with your change and they don't realize they really truly don't realize you you speeding up that process you know just because you hurt that person you're trying to trigger that person do you not know that's going to create them the more it'll be that person like either you can allow that to trigger you or you're going to use that ambition to say i'm not trying to continue to be around that vibration no more it's toxic to my soul it irritates my vibration that because it's like i'm not on that vibe I used to be on that vibe. You could be in a codependent, trauma bonding type situation and be that type of person. They've gone through that and they don't realize you triggering somebody to get a reaction out of them and not realize you triggering that person. You helping them break that trigger. And then you're going to show that person, oh, even it's like, what am I doing? I'm not doing nothing to this person. I'm happy. I'm thriving. You know, I'm trying to make my life better. A lot of people don't like that. They feel like their life ain't being better or they feel like they're the only one who can be better. And then when it's like that, their life ain't better anyway. You know? Hating people ain't happy and happy people ain't hating. <clears throat> so you ain't gonna have that into your life. When people are happy, they mind their own. They do all those different things. And that's why I said you, you gonna be grateful for those type of people. Show gratitude to that. If you dealt with your past or your present, be grateful for that. Because it's like they're helping you clear away old patterns, old habits, old thoughts. You're allowing yourself to forgive. Not for them, for you. And then it'll get to the point where you've been praying for your enemies. Because you already know it's going to be something vicious. Because everybody's getting their, their notifications. You know, you get your notifications like, hey, you doing a good job. You're getting close. 
you doing good. We're commending you. Or there'll be different ones that the naysayers that just refuse. Hey, mind you, stay in your lane. Let my anointed go. Leave that alone. Work on you. Heal. <laughs> you know, they get all that type of stuff. And then some of them are just so determined. They don't, they choose not to heal. And they they don't realize you're still in the fate. And it was just like when I was, like the example I used about Amber Heard and, and um, uh, was it Johnny Depp? You still crying, trying to create it. Even when you lost, you still trying to find a come up. You still trying to find a come up by that. That was like the man just took you to, to down on court for defamation, and you still doing it. You know, you still doing it. And it's just like you don't realize the more you trying to put on somebody's life, and you hoping. Don't, people look at that person in a bad way People uh, 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 Believe you as a victim When you were the main one as the culprit You created all this drama And people are starting to see through you And you're still trying to do stuff And not realizing that the exact thing You're trying to place on that person's life Is going to happen for you Just because you want that so bad to hurt that person It's going to end up hurting you You know And it, it just It takes away your vitality when you do that, it takes away your 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 vibrations. I've noticed that you you because it's like when I even when I seen her, it it was like she don't look the same anymore. It looks like she's more she aged a lot, and I noticed that when it, even I heard people say you notice when people do bad to people, they start looking older than they truly are. They start it's like they speeding up life, but then it's like with us when we're healing, it's like our life is sped back. Like we found the fountain of youth. You start. You don't look like what you've been through because you go through that healing. It's like adding youth to you, but it's like when you wish something bad on somebody, it's taking that away. And you know, and you're gonna look. You'll be having that quote. You know, I'm glad I don't look like what I've been through. And it's just like you're gonna look at your presence and you're gonna look back. And they say not look back and dwell on your past, but look back at your past and see how far you came. Now, I've been using that model with myself a lot lately. Look back at your past and see how far you came. Even though you ain't exactly where you want to be at, don't mean that you ain't going to get there. But everything that you have been through has made you a better person. They said show gratitude to those those spiritual warfare. Show gratitude to that black magic that's been put on you. Those curses, those spells, you know, those mishaps, those step backs. All those different things, the failures, everything that you've gone through. Show gratitude to that. Because when you know you, you've been non-stop, you've been resilient, you became a beast in your own presence, you know, and you really, you, you I mean, your light is shining bright like a diamond. It's really showing. <laughs> and you really showing just because of that. So they tell you, you know, be grateful. Show gratitude towards the things that you face, toward the things that you're currently going through, you went through. Because it's going to catapult you in places you never imagined. You know, if you're going through hell and high water for that, trust and believe me, God about to sit up here and show up and show out in your life. Whatever is done broke you is going to build you right back up 10 times, million times stronger than what it, what it did when it broke you down. Because now when you build it up, it's all on truth. It's all on power. It's all about, you know, admiration towards yourself, towards the higher power. You know, you building up so much into your life. Now you're going to see, you, you ain't going to be the, one of those ones that can be easily pulled easily you know sh you know thrown you know uh thrown a a, a a vice or whatever you know throw you know how they say blind you in some kind of way where you can be easily manipulated because a lot of times when you don't gone through that so much you already you can already see a, a peg before i'm like oh i don't pegged you you know you, you could be a person that you could be very well spoken and all of a sudden you start stumbling on your words in front of somebody that was just your it was like uh-uh the source was telling you don't be going to talk to them. And it's like toxic person, narcissist, two meters away. You know, it'll be one of those type of people. They t when you start, you, when you're so busy collecting those grat uh, those uh, red flags, you don't be grateful you collected those red flags. Because somebody come approach you, now you start listening. And all of a sudden, they'll take you back to that point of what somebody did, some what somebody said, the actions that happened behind that, the red flags that product projected that you didn't recognize before, now you recognize now. And all of a sudden, you end that connection before it really truly began. And that's where they're going to tell you, be grateful for those things. 
when somebody come at you and start talking all this stuff towards other people like I said before when you can't be manipulated you become an enemy you know and so many people's stories and it's okay people make up so many different things it's like it's their truth your truth and the truth you know if, if people don't want to believe it that's okay you know even if somebody don't show their character you ain't even got to tell nobody about my character they eventually end up projecting on their own you know and those are the different things that you you know you you tend to be you know you'll be proud of you're like dad you know i remember when i used to go through this and i remember when i used to go through that i remember where i allowed people to have permission to just do me any kind of way and it's like when you do that you'll get to that point where you're not going to allow yourself to be disrespected you're not going to take it personal when people want to be nasty you're not going to allow yourself to be manipulated you're not going to allow yourself to be moved you know and you become that your boundaries are very solid and when you start doing those different things into your life you you'll appreciate those down times you'll appreciate that heartbreak you appreciate that pain all those different things don't talk you so much into your life and allowed you to heal it allowed you to face a lot of things and it'll give you that confidence you weren't able to have before it'll give you that self-respect and that self-love even when people don't love you it gives you that time to love yourself so much more and when you do it it opens the space to gravitate towards people that will love you that will appreciate you that will be genuine you don't have to worry about evil intent you know all those different things and you, when you get towards that point I feel like when you get towards that you know I've been hurt so much and when you finally get out of that those type of vibes can't even touch you no more you know and God gonna make sure of that because those were your life lessons you had to go through those are your path you had to be able to go through because that was that was a part of your purpose. Even your enemies is a part of your purpose. And I didn't realize that because I'm just like, this is my book. What the heck are these enemies coming out of? You gotta understand. You gotta have a superhero. You gotta have that that backstory. You know, it may be a sequel or prequel. You never know. Then you always got that hidden villain that you never knew about. And those are the different things that's gonna take place into your life. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Like I said, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking, being able to help you have a fur, uh, you know further other deeper understanding about your your purpose and a bigger perspective about the things that's taking place in your life and where it could lead you. So I love to be able to be you know being able to help out with that because it's like a student student teacher situation it's like we're helping each other go towards that next level we're teaching each other life lessons that we really truly need to know not just about ourselves but our other people and surroundings as well as the world you know we're taking that change into the world so we got to get to know each other on that spiritual level so you know doing all those different things you know i really love to do so it's just like you know i always tell people if they don't they don't feel comfortable enough speak on here on the tube review which i truly understand i said hit me up on email dm me, dm me on ig you know um and we can take it from there whatever we discuss you know it'll be you know uh it'll be in, what would they call that it be in private <laughs> you know you ain't gotta worry about that it'll be you know it'll be discreet so um be able to help out as best as i can there if you're interested in podcast or, or even interested in podcasting you know um I'll leave my link to my podcast there as well. It's on Spotify. It's on my um, community page. I'll leave um, my my, yeah, my podcast on my community page. So if you're interested in listening to those as well as the videos, it's there. Or if you would like to, uh, you know, I have no problem with helping out with that as well. And if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, the cash app is there as well. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, into your fruition, whatever vibes you are needing, I'm sending that towards you a million times fold. You know, um just keep going no matter what's going on how hard it feels like it is to uh to make a change to it to elevate you keep going because if you're if you find something that you're truly passionate about you can't go a day without thinking about keep going because a lot of times that happens it'll open up doors that you would never imagine so keep going stay persistent and consistent never sleep on yourself stay woke and you know keep on going the devil's busy don't give him nothing to do <laughs> You don't tell him he a whole lie. You won't need him today or tomorrow. Keep going because he see that potential in you. He don't want you seeing yourself. So he'll try to convince you to quit today just because he knows those blessing opportunities might bust open tomorrow. So keep going. Hope you have a blessed day. We be prosperous and blessed with everything you do. Uh, much love to you. Namaste. Uh, I say shalom. God bless. Peace. <laughs>